The LM386 is a very popular audio amplifier. There are three versions from this amplifier. I've used version 1, so LM3861, and I'm interested in this circuit especially. Uh, the amplifier with a bass boost. The data sheet is on the internet, you can find much more information there. So here I made that circuit and I've adapted it somewhat to get a good proper sound. Here is the whole circuit. I hope it's visible from this distance, it's quite a long distance, sorry. I pen a little bit. Here is that chip. One, two, three, four, etc. And here is the decoupling unit. Always necessary to make this. Never connect your power supply directly to this circuit. Always use a decoupling unit. Here we have the output. Good quality loudspeaker box. And I pan somewhat further to give the circuit in its uh, completeness. This is a 470 picofarad capacitor to prevent oscillations, input control, output control. When you want to connect it to a power audio amplifier, use this circuit. 10k potentiometer, 1 microfarad non-polar capacitor and this must be connected to ground. But you can also use it directly here, connected to a loudspeaker box and the output volume is say 200 milliwatt or so. Let's listen to the sound. Play a part, a music part. Yes, that there is the music. I have to say that this loudspeaker box that you hear has a kind of bass boost characteristic already. What you heard now was this situation, speaker directly connected to the, uh, the chip. Now we're going to listen to the music on this end amplifier. So situation B, where I take out the signal here. So that was situation B, the music played at this output. I want to demonstrate the, the type of control from the sound and I'm turning the potentiometer now in the second part from this video. Play the music again. Here the differences, and now uh, I do the same tone control with the loudspeaker box directly connected to the LM386. Uh, so this situation, and I turn the potentiometer here in the circuit, and that's this potentiometer again. I hope the music will play. Yeah. 
also here you can hear almost the same differences in how the music sounds. So some more explanation. This is the input unit. In fact it's this circuit but it's made two times because it's stereo. Here both the channels are connected, left and right channel. Input potentiometer 10k to set the level. Small cap to damp the circuit somewhat. Here is the, the chip uh, on brass nails with copper wiring etc etc. Output capacitor. Output filter more or less this part of the circuit and here the 10k potentiometer to take the signal and send it to the end amplifier. Wish you luck with the circuit and here again the whole circuit 